Give me one minute. We yeah, are ready. Okay, let me get set two also. Just one minute, wait. Hey. Hello there, Priya. Good to see you all here. So good evening. Welcome back again to Analytics with Anand. So today's class will be really, really full of automation, which I have never taught so far. And then we'll see how you can automate your entire data analytics project, right? So this is the continuation of lecture number 32 on Wednesday, uh, which I have spoken about uh, stored procedure and today we'll see how through stored procedure and tasks we can automate your automatic data ingestion you don't have to do anything and automatically your power bi visuals will get updated power bi visuals we'll see in the third part so today in the second part we'll see how one cloud environment is interacting with another cloud environment using stored procedure and task okay so this is the lecture number 33 i welcome you all to this platform so let's get started let's wait for a few more minutes and then and then i'll begin let me see people are joining from linkedin also i guess okay so one minute let me share my screen and then we are good to go okay and then we are good to go yeah Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can hear me loud and clear? Correct. Right. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me loud and clear. Okay. Great. Rakesh Naranja, yes. Okay, Rakesh. Fine. Okay. Okay, okay. Get to know that. Good to see everyone. Okay. Okay, let's begin. LinkedIn user, yes. Okay. 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 Let me share my screen. And then we'll begin. So how your study and everything is going on? Master SQL, I keep telling master SQL. SQL concept is which you need to master it really, really well. Okay. SQL concept is one which you need to master, master really, really well. Okay. Let me share my screen. Now, do, uh, how many of you were there in my uh, previous class? How many of you were there in my previous class? How many of you were there in my previous class? Have you watched the stored procedure? Then only you can understand this before I give you a background. Right? Before I give you a background. Okay. So in the previous video, lecture number 32, I have spoken about your uh, stored procedure. What's the procedure? Then saw how is the syntax and all those things. Right? What is the syntax? Where and all we use it? In this class, we can see how your entire data analytics right from the data ingestion from one platform to another through certain uh, methodology or a process, you can automate this so that I don't have to uh, hit manually, right? I'm sitting, I did, I'm sitting, I'm, I'm sleeping on Sunday night, client has given some data. I don't want to manually ingest that data, uh, then run the table and then refresh the power. Bill. No. 
that's not we want what i want moment client up do it any data in any of the cloud environment say for example aws or azure or be it any cloud automatically my table should ingest that data and automatically my power bi visual is updated so next morning when i wake up on monday morning suppose i need a report entire report is ready in front of me i don't have to do anything at all right so this is the class which we will talk about right in this class we'll talk about so already in the previous lecture video we have talked about the stored procedure and then what are the we where all and all we use so today we'll talk about task today we'll talk about task let me zoom this slide a bit okay and let me know if you can see this okay so today we'll talk about task what exactly is task and why do we need task if we have a procedure today we'll talk about task why do we need a task and what exactly is task okay what exactly is task so task and procedure are both objects in snowflake both have certain thing snowflake both have certain things that can be used to automate task can simplify workflows however there are key differences between the two you should understand the difference why we are studying today task what is the use case of this right so first of all let's understand the definition point of view a procedure is a stored sql script what do you have in uh, procedure you run some sql script and based on the user you execute it that can be executed on demand by your user this is very very important on demand you need to understand this on demand by your user right when the user demand in the previous class i have shown you suppose user want to delete any employee record he will he or she will feed the employee name and then the records will get deleted on demand by another script or using another script a task on the other hand is a predefined set of sql commands that are scheduled this is very very important which i was talking about today to execute a specific time or interval specific time or interval right the scenario which i spoke just right now say you have a client you have a client from the client behavior you know client every sunday late evening every sunday late evening he or she sends you the data not through mail through some channel through some cloud technology through some cloud it can be aws it can be azure it can be google cloud any cloud technology client is sending the data right now that cloud technology you are integrating with the snowflake that is not the agenda today that is also i'll take a separate class for that now you have integrated with the snowflake how do you integrate that i'll give you an overview but that will be a separate topic once you integrated in the snowflake then that will be whatever the data he's punching there that will automatically it will get ingested in my uh, snowflake table but how do i know how do i know at which time uh, client will share my data from his pattern i will set a scheduler here i will set my schedule time here there's something called schedule time which you will see in the code schedule time i'll set right i know this particular day this particular time client sends the data suppose client sends sunday night sunday night then when your code should run monday early morning you can keep why buffer time hamesha rakhte hain we always keep a buffer time aisa nahi hai client ne monday morning bheja to my client has shared the data on monday 9 am immediately 10 am we ran no we keep certain buffer there may certain things which may go wrong right which may go wrong so that's why we keep a buffer period so from the client behavior will keep a buffer and then i will add that in my schedule so that the moment any time client up, uh, uploads the data my sql script will run which will take the new data which will update the table that table i'll connect it to the power bi my entire visuals will get updated in real time i don't have to do anything at all that is nothing we can do using task using task so this is the difference between procedure and task right procedure is a set of command sql command which is run by user on demand demand pe par yahan to demand ki baat hi nahi ho rahi yahan to mujhe pattern pata hai at a specific time or interval i want to generate every week every week client will ask you for the weekly report monthly report so you cannot run the complete code you know that code need uh, takes 3 hours to run takes 3 hours to run why you have to wake, wake up some monday morning early and then you need to run this code no automatically let it get triggered automatically let it gets triggered automatically so that you can predefined using the help of task so a procedure can be executed by a user or another script typically in response to a specific event or trigger right any event if the company if any employee is leaving the company i want to delete the records which we have seen in the previous lecture videos i can do using my this one stored procedure a task on the other hand 
a task on the other hand is scheduled to run automatically according to a predefined schedule or trigger this we gonna see live in today's class live in today's class okay correct parameters procedure can accept input parameters we have seen in the previous class user can give which employee records you want to delete which employee records you want to uh, uh, update it user can give the input which can be used to customize the behavior of the script at runtime task do not accept input parameter this is very very important this is very very important but they can reference other objects in the snowflake account such as table or view they can refer some table or view but they do not accept input parameter you cannot give any input to a task how does the syntax and all that will see later results procedure can return output values or results as which we have seen procedure can give you a result as string it can give you a number it can give you a var char suppose you need to find average balance which we have seen in mysql so all this information your procedure can be procedure can give you which is used by calling the script of user task do not return any output it is not doing any output is not giving you the output right but they can write results to a log table or file what in today's what is the today's agenda today's agenda is we'll be writing a task inside we'll writing a script which will go back to another cloud technology or anywhere to the source bring the data from the source land into the destination that destination i need an updated records in real time in real time today the scheduler which i am going to see is 1 minute every 1 minute you will see how the data is getting updated right i will run the scheduler every 1 minute because this is a live class i want to show you so i cannot keep 5 minute 10 minute but in reality you will never keep 1 minute because in snowflake if you keep 1 minute every 1 minute your script will run imagine how many credits your snowflake will consume then right in a day 24 hours 24 into 60 and every mi minute if you are spending some 0.03 dollar also so imagine the cost company has to pay right that's why this schedule what is very very important which i'll show you in the lab recurrence task can be scheduled to run repeatedly now sir you said sunday every sunday can i run every alternate day yes can i run on a specific time of a particular day yes can i change the time zone yes for every time zone i can run in india now it is uh, 10 15 us it might be some other time germany it might be some other time right so based on time zone also i can schedule this based on the client if client is a uk client if the client is a us australia asia pacific and all those things right so we can do this all these things is you schedule right now overall procedure and task serve different purpose in snowflake but they can be used together to automate complex works for simplifying data processing units those of you who are from the non tech background who are completely fresher you should mention this in your resume automated the entire data pipeline from aws till my power bi mention this in the resume and tell this in the interview i'll tell you how you can tell this entire story at the end of the class at the end of the class right okay let me show you then i'll come to all this question manish and everyone okay let me show you first now i was showing you something uh, i was talking about the uh, the format which you, the schedule of this is the format this is the format of the schedule so there will be a attribute called schedule where you will give 1 minute 1 day or 5 uh, day or 6 day whatever you want that is called com cron cron expression we call this so cron expression has five star understand this because this i'll be using in the code cron expression has five star cron expression has five star each star has a meaning each star has a meaning first star stands for the minute in our today's live class we'll giving the minute as one minute we are giving just one minute okay we'll give just one minute because we want to see i don't want you guys to wait for five minutes or 10 minutes in order to reflect the data so one minute next hour understand first star is for minute next star is for hour third star is day of the month which day of the month you want to run every eighth day i want to run every ninth day i want to run which day of the month which month you want to run if you want to run every day of the month which month which day of the week whether you want to run on sunday whether you want to run monday tuesday based on the client requirement you will specify this right based on client requirement you will specify this okay based on client you will specify this arpan sharma i have put on a scheduler in my workspace server for a day wise category sales report to give it to my manager very good very good i will show you today completely from the cloud point of view because we are here to master all your sql concept on the cloud that's why i'm here right how on sql now straight away if your organization is using any of the power bi report if your organization is using snowflake this you can implement straight away after today's class right i'll show you how Okay, I'll show you how. Correct. 
next so this one everyone understood cron expression cron expression is nothing but your web date, web date time whatever which day of the week which minute which hour which time zone and what accordingly we'll see when we go into the lab this is totally from based on the client you need to ask the client which day he want the report based on that you will see you will set the values whether it is a utc time zone or it can be any of the time zone okay right like that now let me go let me go straight to take you to the lab not thank you this is the last slide don't worry ha let me go straight to the lab and show you okay let me go straight to the lab and show you ha. now in my git before i proceed in my github i have given already this lecture number 3 automating stored procedure to task entire code which i have run is shared with you here entire code which i run here is shared with you all and the table data table also i have given Data table also I have given. Now there is an entire project which I have hosted here. If you go to the analytics with Anand, you will find here one project called uh, end to end project. If you do this and add it in your resume, trust me, it will have a huge, huge value. Right here, end to end data analytics project, entire data with dashboard with automation. Every you can do it. Everything you are doing it here. Same data sets I am using it. Same data set I am using it. Let me explain you. what exactly we are doing it today through one schema diagram then you will understand it okay through one schema diagram that you will understand uh, back 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 my sql is also open one minute this is the table i am using in today's class this is the table i am using in today's class let me give you one overview this entire table which i am using this entire table i am using all the data is coming from a cloud environment which is called aws amazon web service through a bucket called s3 simple storage service entire class on i will take after this uh, stored procedure simple storage service what is this imagine like this it's like a google uh, it's like a i will say uh, uh, drive your google drive right it's a google drive where you store the data why we are storing in the cloud unlimited capacity it gives you that power clouds gives you right i'll talk about separately but understand aws is a cloud environment there's a bucket which client has created s3 and i know the frequency of the client how far how, how many times he or she is ingesting the data what do you think which data client will keep on ingesting which is the data which client usually keep on updating your transaction data right mostly transaction data this is the table which is being uh, i mean updation on a very very frequent basis right very very frequent basis so what all table you have let me give you one small overview what all table we have we did have a district table we have a district table which will have all the district code district region district code id average salary number of cities and all client details client gender date of birth district then we have an account details when the customer has opened the account what is the frequency of the account when was the date account got operated what type of account we have savings account nri account all those things right then we have the card whether the customer is a gold customer whether the customer is a diamond customer or whether he is a customer is a premium customer all this customer level information is there whether the customer has taken any loan or not this is the table which is very dynamic the word dynamic means this is the table i know client every week every sunday every sunday late night client update this right client update this so what my snowflake should do my snowflake table should directly read this these and all i am not updating this also it is reading these also it is reading but these are not getting updated very frequently right these are not getting updated very very frequently right so i will set up a pipeline i will set up a pipeline entire pipeline i will connect my data source i know client won't update but still i will generate a pipeline the today's class will be focus on this let me show you how does it looks in the aws cloud environment so in the aws cloud environment i will take a different class for this you go through the s3 you create a bucket client will create this client will create this bucket client will be give you a public access for this client will create a bank banking data the banking data which we are considering is a czechoslovakia region okay banking data and client will create all this folder now what is your task your task is to pick records from all this table your task is to pick records from all the table right but which one will be most frequently updated which one will be most frequently updated your transaction this is in today's class i am focusing on this i am focusing on this already i have uploaded the data i'll show you account 
account got uploaded every i have uploaded so today i will show you how automatically the client upload any new data if the client upload any new data in any of the well, how automatically your tables in snowflake can be read tables in snowflake can be read right ha so this i have uploaded these are all static data these are all uh, fact stable right these are all fact stable right all the static data is there correct and then this is the table i am uploading it right let me delete this record let me delete this record clearly let me this record ha theek hai ab aise samjho permanently delete i will take a separate session on aws so don't worry just understand the agenda for today right ha so now client has created this you have connected to this source you have connected to this chips of banking data everything transaction is you have done the pipeline i'll show you how you can connect this is empty nothing is there okay let me take you straight away to the snowflake let me take you straight away to the snowflake and let me explain you about the task how it is being done how it is right how it is being done now i am creating database database okay i am creating one type called testing task just to explain you how task work no right and then i am using this now i am creating one i am creating one uh, table called demo video anything you can give it the name everyone knows create or create table demo video i am setting three columns here id name and date id name and it id is my auto increment auto increment class already has been taken what happens whenever row gets created this id gets incremented by 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 right 1 2 and 3 then name i am taking where care default i am taking demo video created or anything anything default value you can take it here right third one is the date time stamp these are the three column which i have taken first one i have taken as id second one i have taken as name third one i have taken as date so these are the three columns which i have taken now any data is there let's check nothing is there right if i do select star then move it is now i am creating one task i am creating one task create or replace task syntax remains same procedure syntax was create or replace procedure here also create or replace task any task name you can give any task name you can give warehouse is equals to which warehouse i am using same warehouse you need to specify the warehouse which you are using it same warehouse you need to specify compute underscore wh schedule is one minute schedule is one minute this is only i am talking about and whatever i have told in the ppt i have written here cron task right schedule is one minute now if you give schedule like this let me explain you if you give schedule like this i told you it has a combination of five star if you give five star what does it mean first star stands for minute first and starts for minute second star start for hour third star day right day of the month fourth star month of the year and fifth star day of the week day of the week now what does it says what does this second five denote in this example schedule parameter is set to 05 star 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 cron expression star 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 cron expression which corresponds to running the task every day at 5 am at 5 am and the default it is at 5 am i'll print enter here at 5 am utc because but the default time which snowflake takes is utc so i am keeping that so understood how you can give the time 5 am at utc right so in snowflake the cron tab functionality is used to schedule task that need to be executed at a specific time of interval snowflake provides a built in scheduler that uses cron syntax for scheduling task this is called cron syntax right today will we are using just one minute just we are writing one 1001 star 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 cron equals to right 1 star 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 but i am giving schedule equals to 1 minute in this expression also we can use it right correct such as hourly daily weekly it depends now from the company it depends on the company those who are working in this operating system they might be knowing this they might be knowing this okay now let's run this let's run this and see let's run this and see okay i run it i run it okay now here i forgot to explain you this command it was here ha what did i do what is this task doing guys understand this then only you today's agenda will be clear i am creating one task client told me anand every single minute every single minute by the time i start speaking data is getting ingested you will see the magic every single minute keep inserting data 
keep inserting data into the table which you have created. What I'm inserting just for the demo purpose, I am showing you the data. And what it will be keep on inserting current timestamp. This is just for the explanation purpose, guys. So every one minute you will see this record. By the time I start speaking, already two minutes would have been passed or five minutes would have passed. You will see the five rows coming into the picture. Five rows coming into the picture. And what were those values? Values will be the current timestamp. Value will be the current timestamp. Let me run. Now it's not there. One minute has not been passed. Let's see. So by the time, let me zoom up. So by the time we are done, right? By the time we are done, it will show you the task. So show task, just run it. One second. Ha. Ha. Give me one minute. Yeah. Listen this. Ha. Yeah. What is the state, guys, now? Answer screen is not clear. Why? Why screen is not clear? What is the issue? I can see. Screen is super clear. I can see the phone. Screen is super clear for me. How come? Screen is super clear for me. It's coming. Ah, Shatim, yeah. Screen is super clear. Is screen not visible to you? Nikhil, check your internet. It's super clean for me. Yeah, clear. Ah, take care. Show task. Now see. Show task. By default, by default, whenever you will create a task, it will be in suspended state. By default, whenever you will create a task, it will be in suspended state, guys. Acha hai? Snowflake credits you consume nahi consume hona chahiye. So by default, it will be in suspended state. You need to activate it. You need to activate it. So whenever you create the task, by default, it's suspended. So we have to resume it. So we have to resume it. Right? So we have to resume it. How do you resume it? There's a command called alter. There's a command called alter task. There's a command called alter task. Insert alter task. Task name resume. Alter task, task name, resume. Later on, if you want to suspend, suppose client no longer is updating the data, why you want this task to get run? You can suspend it. So alter task, let's resume it. Yeah, now let's show the show task. Now let me show you show task. Now it has started. Now it has started. Every one minute, you will start seeing the records flowing into the picture. Now you won't find. After one minute, it will get updated. Okay. After one minute, it will get updated. Is it blur? But I am seeing it very clearly. I am seeing it very clearly. Where you guys are seeing on TV? Where you guys are seeing on TV? It is coming perfectly fine for me. I am seeing it in the laptop also. It's coming fine for me. Why it is blur for you? Two, three systems I have. So I am seeing everywhere. Where exactly is blur? Where exactly is this? Clear, sir. Planetable clear. Now, let's see. Shall I run select star? Still not. Still one minute is there. Let me wait. Still, let's wait. And we'll see. It is clear. Fine. Abhi tak nahi hai. Aya abhi tak. Abhi tak nahi Wait karo. Okay. So, this is how using. Ha, now, first record got inserted. First record got inserted. Every one minute. We'll wait for one more minute, guys. We'll wait for one more minute. Right. So what is the task I am doing? I am inserting into demo video date values current instant time. So every one minute it will keep on inserting the data. So this is the background I am giving you currently. This is the background I am giving you currently. How every one minute it is keeping and uh, it is keep on inserting the data. You can drop the task also. Code I have shared on GitHub. 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 Let's do select star. It has been surpassed. Not yet. I think still 30 seconds. That's why the reason I've set one minute. That's the reason I've set one minute. Right? That's the reason I have set one minute. One second. Let's wait, wait, wait. It will come. Till then, I'll explain you. The ah, two records came. Understood? You're seeing two records came. Right? Two records came. This is just I'm explaining you the task. How task is working internally. Understand this. Then only you will understand today's agenda. Right? So by the time this entire uh, uh, my session gets over, you will see 10, 15 records. Let it get executed. I'm not touching anything. Right? Let it get executed. I'm not touching anything. Now, 
in the bank in the bank let me come to the today's task so today's task is here today's task is all out here let's go so what i have created guys i have created one database called bank i have created one database called bank inside that i'm using it i have that district table i have created it just i'm showing you entire code is given to you you can execute it in this video description there's a link which you can execute it district table is there account table is there all list table all the primary key and everything cross tab notation acha i'll explain i'll explain i'll explain create a table loan table is there transaction table this is the table which i will be updating very very frequently automatically automatically i won't write any code i won't write any code i won't run this table at all you will see the magic today so create or replace table transaction right let me create this in front of you because we are doing it for the transaction only only i am running this because other table i am not updating because i know from the client frequency he no longer updates once in a blue moon he will do right once in 3 months 4 months 5 months account table why he has to change only when any new customer get added then he will do it i am assuming that right client table disposition table cart table everything is there now let me explain you this piece of code which i will take a differentiation on uh, aws which is called continuous data ingestion so guys today's concept which we are discussing what exactly we are telling what is the concept which we are talking about continuous data ingestion what do we mean by this continuous data ingestion there should be a pipeline between to source to destination i it doesn't matter whether client is pushing the data or not any time client push the data i will connect i will connect my snowflake uh, sorry aws s3 bucket to snowflake right so i am creating called call storage integration create or replace storage integration this class i will take it so don't panic call this which is the type external stage who is the provider guys s3 s3 is coming from amazon who is the provider s3 enabled equals to true arn i will talk about this arn and storage location i will talk about this in my aws class in my aws class this is the location of your s3 bucket this is the location of your s3 bucket and this is the role every customer every client we are suppose customer who is interacting with aws any aws user will have role and policy assigned to it role plus policy which i'll discuss in my aws class right after this entire next class we will have an aws which i'll discuss this so i am putting that arn here right i am putting that arn here which you need to configure it that configuration is not in today's agenda i have written i have created a storage integration i have created a storage integration right so that there is a continuous integration i can describe it right so many storage integration has been done right so many storage integration has been done next next i am creating a staging table now when someone comes to your house where he or she stands right in front of your door he or she press the doorbell then only you allow him or directly he walks in no so after the end of the pipe after the end of the pipe where is the pipe today i was having one pipe after the end of the pipe your data is here but it has not landed in the table it has not landed in the table so what i am doing it here i am creating a staging table here url i am giving the url of the s3 bucket what is the format which kind of person has come does swiggy guy has come does the food delivery guy has come or does the courier guy has come to my house who is the person who has come to my house that is called the file format what is the file format you are reading it right what is the file format you are reading it entire table which you are seeing it uh, your uh, uh, cart table disposition table what kind of data it has what do you think generally what kind of data client shares client shares your csv data right after this you will have aws class client shares the CW, csv data right so i have had read this right so i have created this staging bank i have created this staging bank right i'll talk about this. so i have created all this staging everything right now next comes pipeline guys how many table did you see guys how many table did you see here in my s3 bucket how many table did you see in my s3 bucket how many tables were there how many pipes you need if you have eight syntax if you have eight syntax on your house two tank if you have two pipe you need if you have two tank two pipe you need so i have eight tables i have eight folder i will connect this eight folder to eight pipe you would could have said why you have not connected with the one pipe there's ambiguity with that so i have eight source right so i will be having 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight pipe connected to this 
right? Why I'm keeping it eight pi? Because any time client can update any of this data. Any time client can update any of this data, right? So eight pipe I will connect with. Let me show you the syntax of that. Eight pipe for eight source. Eight pipe for eight source. So we are here. sorry. Ha, eight pipe for it. Code wise, I will explain you once. You can understand the others. Code wise, I'll explain you. One. Same copy paste you need to do. Same copy paste you need to do it. Same copy paste you need to do it. Right? Let me explain you for the transaction or account any table you pick. It. So what is the syntax? Understand. Create or replace pipe. I am creating a pipe. What is the pipe name? Any name you can give it. Give it realistic name. Auto ingest equals to true. Why it is to say auto ingest equals to true? Suppose I am a customer. I am sending the data. I am sending the data. So I need to persist that data in my pipe. Now, what if the customer delete the data from the source table? It should be there in the pipe. Now, guys, ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए. Customer ने source table का data उड़ा दिया तो मेरा table का भी data उड़ गया. नहीं भाई क्यों? Pipe में रहेगा वो. It will be there in the pipe. It will be there in the pipe. That's why we are keeping auto ingest equals to true. Make sure you enable this as true. As where you want to copy, where you want to copy the table which you have created, transaction table. This is the table where you want to copy transaction table. So I have connected my S3 bucket. I have connected my S3 bucket. I have set the stage right. That is external stage. I have set now from the S3 bucket. I want to pull the data into the transaction. So that's why the copy into command is there. That's why the copy into command is there. Copy where? From where? Transaction data, sir. You copy in transaction. Bank ka data, account ka account me. District ka district me. Display ka display. Whichever data client will be sending automatic, I will copy into that. I'll copy into that. Right? I'll copy into that. From where that particular that particular S3 bucket name you have to give and make sure this is case sensitive. It's highly case sensitive. You cannot enter the data. Bank, if bank is written, if TRNX, if TRNX is written like this, you need to write like this. If transaction is written in the S3 bucket like this, you have to write like this. Otherwise, you will get a staging error. Otherwise, you will get a staging error. Make sure, make sure you write in the same format. जैसे बना हुआ है ये, exactly वैसे. TRNX में if T is capital, you need to give T is capital. If order में O R D E R is, you have to give in the same way. Do not change it. Do not change it; otherwise, you'll get a syntax error, right? So I'm just running this. You need to run for one copy paste for all. Keep executing for all. Others I'm not touching because I have already created. I'll just show you for the transaction. Okay, I'll just show you for the transaction. Correct. So I'm just running for the transaction for the one table. Where is it? 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 Is there any data in the transaction? पहले यहाँ से देख लेते हैं. Select count star from transaction. No. Is there any data? Did client send any data in the transaction table? Check. कुछ है यहाँ पे data? कुछ है यहाँ पे data? Do will you find any data in your pipe? No. क्यों? क्योंकि यहाँ data ही नहीं है. आपने pipe connect कर दिया. आपने motor on नहीं किया है. पानी कैसे जाएगा tank में? आपने tank को motor से connect कर दिया pipe कितनी? ठीक है मुझे समझ में आ गया sir. बहुत इजी में मैं समझा रहा हूं बहुत इजी में समझा रहा हूं ये टैंकर है तुम्हारा राइट right? यहां मोटर है यहां मोटर है राइट right? टैंकर तुम्हारा क्या है स्नोफ्लेक के टेबल टैंकर क्या है तुम्हारा स्नोफ्लेक के टेबल्स स्नोफ्लेक के टेबल्स मोटर क्या है तुम्हारा मोटर है तुम्हारा एडब्ल्यू एस का एस तुमने एस ऑन किया मोटर ऑन किया क्लाइंट ने डेटा भेजा पाइप तुमने कनेक्ट किया हुआ है कहा जाएगा ये सीधे इसमें सीधे जाएगा मेरा किसमें टैंकर में राइट तो मोटर ऑन करना पड़ेगा ना उसके लिए पाइप मैंने बिछा दिया ठीक है अब चलो देखो क्या होता है अब देखो क्या करते हैं अल्टर एक कमांड रन कर अल्टर पाइप स्नोप्ले ट्रांजेक्शन रिफ्रेश व्हेन आई हिट रिफ्रेश डेटा हियर डू सी एनी डेटा नहीं क्योंकि पाइप में डेटा ही नहीं है क्लाइंट ने कुछ डाला ही नहीं है पाइप में डेटा ही नहीं है कुछ डाला ही नहीं है अब चलो क्लाइंट डेटा डालेगा अब चलो लेट्स अपलोड क्लाइंट संडे मॉर्निंग संडे नाइट संडे नाइट आया आप क्लाइंट डेटा डालेगा चलो डालते हैं इसमें कौन सा न्यू डाल देते हैं ट्रांजेक्शन 19 का कुछ भी एक ही फाइल डाल के दिखा रहा हूं हाँ डाल गया अपलोड कर दिए होने दो अपलोड इसको अभी अब मैं मैं अभी आई एम शोइंग यू द जस्ट वन मैनुअल प्रोसेस अभी ऑटोमेशन भी दिखाएंगे ठीक है ठंडा हो गया अब अब तुम क्या बोलेगे सर मैंने मोटर ऑन कर दिया पाइप में पानी आया कि नहीं आया ये तो चेक करेंगे ना 
since I'm explaining you that I'm testing it. I know pipe में तो पानी आएगा ही motor check करेंगे. Now I want to know कि pipe में पानी आया कि नहीं आया. Whether water is being flowing into the pipe or not. Let's check that. Let's check that. तो क्या करेंगे? Alter pipe transaction refresh it कर देंगे. अब देखो जादू. Tatana गया. गया कि नहीं गया? गया ना जी. लेकिन अभी तो manually कर रहे हैं. तुम बोलोगे सर अभी तो आप मैन्युअली कर रहे हैं सर राइट नाउ यू आर डूइंग दिस मैन्युअली ठीक है पहले समझो तो आई एम डूइंग मैन्युअली ये सब इंटायर प्रोसेस अभी नहीं करना पड़ेगा अभी कुछ देर बाद पेशेंस रखो नो वन शुड लीव दिस सेशन पूरा एंटूमेंट समझ लो फिर इंप्लीमेंट करते रहना अपने पूरे डेटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट में ठीक है रिफ्रेश कर दिए राइट कर दिए तब देख लेते हैं सेलेक्ट आया कि नहीं काउंट स्टार फ्रॉम ट्रांजेक्शन आ गया वन आ गया ना जी सेलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम ट्रांजेक्शन ये तो दिख रहा है ना देखो आगे डेटा हैप्पी तो सर आपने किया इसमें तो कोई आपने पाइप कनेक्ट कर दिया बड़ी बात थी जब करोगे तो बहुत एरर आएगा आपने स्टेजिंग टेबल बनाया आपने कनेक्ट कर दिया ठीक है लेकिन ये सारा प्रोसेस क्या है मैनुअल है ना ये सारा प्रोसेस तो मैनुअल है तुमको लगता है हम बैठे रहेंगे क्लाइंट हर दिन डेटा अपलोड करेगा तो बैठ के क्या हम रन करते हैं सेलेक्ट स्टार सेलेक्ट स्टार सेलेक्ट स्टार नहीं भाई इसी को ऑटोमेट करना है क्या ऑटोमेट करना है द मोमेंट क्लाइंट सेंड डेटा इन माई बकेट automatically this should trigger automatically this should trigger there the concept of task will come into picture ab aa jao seedha task mein ab aa jao seedha task mein theek hai ab aa jao seedha task mein tum jo ki hum dikhane ja rahe hain bahut crucial hai hum dikhane ja rahe hain bahut crucial suno understand ek table hai main bata deta hu table kya hai theek hai main bata deta hu client has told me anand in your transaction table In your transaction table, let me show you the table. How does it look? हाँ, ठीक है. Let me show you. Three lines given over. So transaction table has transaction ID, account ID, date, type, operation, amount, balance, purpose, uh, bank, account part. If the if, uh, if the Uh, bank has if that particular account holder has any partner, it will have the partner ID. So this is the operation. This is the operation cast. What is the SQL command I have written? Can anyone tell me? Can anyone tell me what is the SQL command I have written here? What is the SQL command I am running here? Client says, Anand, on the last day of every month, on the last day of every month, what happens on the last day of every month? We get all our salary. We get all our salary. client is saying on the last day of every month assume assume that transaction is credit transaction is credit on the last day of every month assume that customer is doing whatever the transaction is doing last day it is coming at credit so what i have done what i have done i have done i have created a account id from the date i am extract as year from the month i am extracting as month and i am calculating maximum days as latest transaction date from transaction Right, I'll just run this so as to show you how does it look. ठीक है? How does it? ठीक है? Latest transaction date आ गया. मतलब इस दिन क्या हो रहा है? मतलब on the first account ID one for the transaction year 2019 for January month, which was the last transaction he has done on 31st, which was the last transaction he has done in the February month, 17th February. Clear? I'm just explaining you so that things become clear. Now, once you have this data, what you are pulling it? You are pulling it. You are calling this as LTD, last transaction date, and you are joining with the transaction table, and you are getting the balance because last day. If credit will be, then balance will be. Sir, update will be. If my account has ten thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, last day five thousand credit will be. Then balance will be. Balance will be. Fifteen thousand, right? My balance fifteen thousand. That balance I am picking. So this is what this table is doing. This table is having latest transaction with balance. आखरी transaction उस month का, आखरी transaction उस month का. So let me create this. Let me create this. Right? Let me create this. ठीक है? बन गया ये. बन गया. अब इसको इसके अंदर नहीं बनाएंगे. क्यों नहीं बनाएंगे, guys? Why will not create this randomly? This should should also get triggered automatically. क्योंकि sir ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल इन्वॉल्व है यहाँ जो कि क्लाइंट कंट्रोल कर रहा है विच इज बींग कंट्रोल बाई क्लाइंट तो आप ये मैनुअली कर रहे हैं आई एम डूइंग इट मैनुअली फिर से क्रिएट और रिप्लेस करना पड़ेगा ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल में डेटा आया फिर नहीं करना है ये चीज ये नहीं करना है कैसे नहीं होगा थ्रू टास्क 
कैसे नहीं होगा थ्रू टास्क इंटायर कोड हो इंटायर कोड को एक प्रोसीजर के रन कर दो क्या करना है कुछ नहीं करना है सुनो कल बताए थे क्लास में लास्ट वेंसडे क्या कर रहे हैं हम एक स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर बना रहे हैं क्रिएट और रिप्लेस रिटर्न क्या कर रहे हैं स्ट्रिंग लैंग्वेज सिक्वल है सिंटैक्स बता दिए हैं ये टेबल ही पूरा सर आप स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर के अंदर बना दीजिए ठीक है ये टेबल पूरा स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर के अंदर बना देता हूं मैं देखो बन गया बन गया स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर के अंदर ये टेबल बन गया अब सर ये टेबल को आप टास्क बना के कॉल कर दीजिए ये टेबल को टास्क बना के कॉल कर दीजिए सिंपल ये टेबल को ही आप कॉल कर दीजिए टास्क बना के तो जैसे ही क्लाइंट ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल अपडेट करेगा फटाक से नहीं वो पाइपलाइन से ट्रांजेक्शन में आया और ये टेबल ट्रिगर हो गया ये टेबल पावर बी ऐसे कनेक्टेड है पावर बी में शेड्यूल रिफ्रेश रहना है पावर बी अभी रिफ्रेश आराम से सोते रहो सुबह उठो पूरा डैशबोर्ड तैयार कुछ कोड का ही रन करने का जरूरत नहीं है यही बस खेला पूरा ये शेड्यूल का है खेला पूरा ये शेड्यूल का है राइट मैंने एक टेबल बनाया था कस्टमर के लिए बैंकिंग के लिए देखो जिसमें सारा कस्टमर का हिस्ट्री दे रहा हूं बैंकिंग के लिए पिटे पिया टेबल क्या है इसमें सारा कस्टमर का डिटेल्स है राइट कितना कस्टमर हुआ किस रीजन से कितना हुआ ये टेबल देखो कनेक्टेड है ना जी पावर बी से ये टेबल दोनों कनेक्टेड है पावर बी से बैंकिंग के राइट right? इसमें डेटा कहां से आ रहा है ट्रांजेक्शन से ट्रांजेक्शन में डेटा कहां से आ रहा है एस थ्री बकेट से सारा ऑटोमेट हो जाएगा अब अब देखते जाओ सारा ऑटोमेट मैजिक की तरफ ठीक है तो इसका भी कोड जो मैंने बैंकिंग केपीआई बनाया ये केपीआई क्या होता है की परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स की परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स राइट की परफॉर्मेंस इंडेक्स तो ये एक चाहिए क्लाइंट को क्लाइंट बोल रहा है एवरी मंथ एवरी ईयर शो मी द टोटल अकाउंट शो मी दिट अकाउंट शो मी दिड्रॉल अकाउंट शो मी द बैलेंस So me the percentage ratio, so me the withdrawal percent, all these things I have written a code. तो फिर से ये run करना पड़ेगा. Then again the next question comes, sir. पहले आप latest transaction लिए, फिर banking KPI लिए. अब banking KPI में क्या है? Now see, now banking KPI में क्या है? अरे sir, previous वाला code यहाँ use हो रहा है, transaction भी use हो रहा है. दोनों कहाँ से आ रहा है जी? दोनों S3 box से आ रहा है. Transaction में आ रहा है S3 bucket से. और ये ले रहा है ट्रांजेक्शन से दिस इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन दिस दिस इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन दिस तो ये भी टेबल रन होगा तो ये भी मैन्युअली रन करना पड़ेगा नहीं करेंगे मैन्युअली इसको भी डाल देंगे हम स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर में इसको भी डाल देंगे हम स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर में अभी देखो इसको भी डाल देंगे हम स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर में पूरा टेबल को लिख डालो स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर में पूरा टेबल को लिख डालो पूरा पूरा टेबल को लिख डालो स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर में लिख गया पोलो टेबल डन करेक्ट डन कर दिए अब इस टेबल को भी हम कॉल कर देंगे टास्क के थ्रू बट मेक श्योर गाइस इसका डेटा इसमें है तो टाइमिंग के खेला है अगर तुम्हें पता है कि पहले एक्स टेबल शेड्यूल होता है उसके बाद वाई टेबल शेड्यूल होता है तो एक्स एंड वाई का सेम टाइमिंग मत डालना एक्स एंड वाई का सेम टाइमिंग मत डालना एक्स का टाइमिंग अगर पांच फाइव पी डाल रहे हो इसका कम से कम फाइव डालना इफ यू नो ये तो पता चल जाएगा ना तुमको कि कितना टाइम लगता है कैसे पता चलेगा कितना टाइम लगता है हाउ यू विल कम टू नो कितना टाइम लगता है कुछ नहीं सर ये कोड को रन करके देख लेंगे अगर एक घंटा लग रहा है तो एक घंटा ये हम कोड को रन करके देख लेंगे कि मेरा जो इसमें है अकाउंट लेटेस्ट हाउ मच टाइम इट इज टेकिंग हाउ मच टाइम इट इज टेकिंग इफ दिस कोड इज टेकिंग वन आवर एंड आफ्टर दिस आई एम जनरेटिंग माई बैंकिंग के राइट पहले ये रन होगा तभी तो बैंकिंग के पी इसको कंज्यूम कर रहे हैं आई एम कंज्यूमिंग दिस टेबल इन अनदर सो सेट द बफर एज टू आवर क्योंकि वन आवर के बाद एक घंटा का बफर रखो डेटा आ गया है तब टू आवर में तब टू आवर में ठीक है तब टू आवर में राइट right? इसीलिए मैंने अभी क्या दिया डेमो दिखाने के लिए वन मिनट और टू मिनट दिया है वन मिनट और टू मिनट राइट दोनों टास्क को रन आज को रन कर देते हैं बाई डिफॉल्ट इट विल इन सस्पेंडेड स्टेट बाई डिफॉल्ट इट विल बी इन सस्पेंडेड स्टेट चलो आज देख लेते हैं टास्क रन हो गया अभी देखोगे ऑटोमेशन आप अब टास्क दिखा दे रहे हैं सस्पेंडेड है ना जी अभी है सस्पेंडेड आई हैव टोल्ड यू टास्क विल ऑलवेज बी रिमेन इन द सस्पेंडेड स्टेट टास्क विल ऑलवेज रिमेन इन द सस्पेंडेड स्टेट लेट्स रेज्यूम द टास्क अब देखो खास अब मजा आएगा अब हो गया तो टास्क ठीक है राइट करेक्ट अभी किसका डेटा रहेगा जी अभी तो किसका डेटा रहेगा राइट right? अभी दिख रहा है डेटा थर्टी और बैंकिंग के पिया क्यों है इसमें डेटा क्योंकि सर आपने 2018 का डाला है अच्छा मैंने डिलीट नहीं किया इसको सॉरी एक सेकंड रुक जा एक सेकंड रुक जा डिलीट कर देते हैं इसको फिर से ठीक है कहा चला गया शो टास्क 
शायद मैंने डिलीट नहीं किया था हाँ सस्पेंडेड है अब इसको रिस्टार्ट करो अब इसको रिस्टार्ट करो रेज्यूम एंड रेज्यूम ठीक है हो गया अब चलो अब देखो अब कुछ नहीं कर रहा मैं हर एक मिनट और दो मिनट पे टास्क अपडेट हो जाएगा हर एक मिनट दो मिनट पे अब नथिंग यू हैव टू डू नाउ आई रेज्यूम आई एम द क्लाइंट अब बस कुछ नहीं सिर्फ एस थ्री बकेट का खेला है कुछ नहीं करना है आप बस इसमें अपलोड करो ऑटोमेटिकली तुम्हारा टेबल में डेटा आ जाएगा देखो एक और दो मिनट का तब तक हम लोग जब तक बात करेंगे ठीक है जब तक हम लोग बात करेंगे तब डेटा आ जाएगा टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन का है ऑलरेडी चलो क्लाइंट को डालने दो क्लाइंट ने अपलोड किया संडे आ गया क्लाइंट ने अपलोड किया कमॉन लेट सस क्लाइंट लेट अपलोड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ठीक है अपलोड होने दो अपलोड कहीं कुछ नहीं रन करेंगे वी वॉन्ट बी रनिंग एनी थिंग नो नो वी वॉन्ट बी रनिंग एनी थिंग बस हो गया अब इंतजार करो कितना देर तुमको इंतजार करना है दो मिनट एक मिनट के बाद तुम्हारा ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल रन होगा दो मिनट के बाद बैंकिंग की पीआर रन होगा बस वेट करो वेट करो बस वेट करो आप दो मिनट वेट करो और देखो कैसे डेटा अपलोड हो रहा है कैसे डेटा अपलोड हो रहा है बस हम ये दोनों चेक करेंगे बस ये दोनों करेंगे हम अभी वेट करते अगर तुमको मैनुअली चेक करना है अगर तुमको मैनुअली चेक करना है तो क्या करोगे पाइप चेक करोगे पाइप में डेटा आया कि नहीं अगर मैनुअली डीबक करना है वो भी जानना जरूरी है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू इफ आई वॉन्ट टू डीबक इट आई शुड नो राइट आई शुड नो कि मेरा डेटा पाइप में आया है कि नहीं तो वो मैनुअली डीबक तुम सके वहां पे देख लो जाकर पाइप वाला जो कमांड था ना टेबल क्रिएशन कहां चला गया दिस इज फॉर यूर पर्पज फॉर डी बगिंग राइट दिस इज फॉर यूर पर्पज फॉर डी बगिंग पर्पज ट्रांजेक्शन में डेटा आया है कि नहीं यहां से देख सकते हो ट्रांजेक्शन पहले कितना था टू थाउजेंड टी अब कितना हो जाए मंडे मॉर्निंग हुआ बैंकिंग केपीआई में डेटा ऑटोमेटिकली आ गया बैंकिंग केपीआई में डेटा ऑटोमेटिकली आ गया दैट विल सीट दो मिनट हो गया जी दो मिनट हुआ कि नहीं हुआ देखे जरा आओ देखते हैं बैंकिंग केपीआई में ना अपडेट हो गया राइट एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड पहले थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी डेटा इज हियर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी डेटा इज हियर राइट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी डेटा इज हियर दोनों रन हो गए अभी नहीं अभी ये रन नहीं हुआ रुको ये रन नहीं हुआ अभी क्यों क्यों रन नहीं हुआ ये फाइव फोर्टी रिकॉर्ड है इसमें सिर्फ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन का डेटा होगा ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी नहीं क्योंकि सर आपने दो मिनट दिया था पहले ये रन होगा फिर इसका डेटा हम कंज्यूम कर रहे थे वो रन का मैंने कहीं कोई टेबल नहीं रन किया कुछ नहीं किया रनिंग स्टार इन ऑर्डर टू शो यू बस ये सेम टेबल दिस टू टेबल विल बी कनेक्टेड टू योर पावर बी पावर बी हमें शेड्यूल रिफ्रेश रन करोगे पूरा डैशबोर्ड रेडी रहेगा वो मैं नहीं दिखा रहा अभी क्योंकि मैंने शेड्यूल रिफ्रेश रन नहीं किया है दिस विल बी द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो दिखाऊंगा क्योंकि पावर बी आई में बाई डिफॉल्ट शेड्यूल रिफ्रेश इज थर्टी मिनट दैट्स द रीजन आई कुड नॉट शो यू बैठे बैठे ये पूरा डैशबोर्ड रिफ्रेश हो जाएगा पूरा डैशबोर्ड रिफ्रेश हो जाएगा अब रन करो केपीआई को अब रन करो केपीआई अभी भी आया चलेगा थोड़ा अब रन करो ठीक है करेक्ट तब तक हम ऑन कर देते हैं एस थ्री बकेट में एक और डेटा डाल देते हैं जब तक ये रन हो रहा है एस थ्री बकेट में एक और चली सर आप डेटा डाल दीजिए दो डेटा डाल दीजिए अभी टू लाख रिकॉर्ड था ना क्लाइंट का मन किया दो फाइल डालने का ठीक है भाई क्लाइंट डाल सकता है तो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का डाल दिए हम अब हम डाल देते हैं नाइनटीन एंड ट्वेंटी क्या कौन कौन सा डेटा है जी एक बार देख ले हम खुद ही भूल गए कौन कौन सा डेटा है 1920 है तो 21 और 18 डाल देते हैं 21 और 18 डाल देते हैं 21 और 18, 21 और 18, एक साथ दो रिकॉर्ड एक साथ दो रिकॉर्ड तो प्रोसेस होने में टाइम लगेगा एक मिनट डाले हैं ठीक है कैन वी से डेपेंडेंसी इन टास्क डेपेंडेंसी इन टास्क मीन वॉट कौन सा डिपेंडेंसी कौन सा डिपेंडेंसी कौन डिपेंडेंसी अभी टू लाख रिकॉर्ड था रिकॉर्ड बढ़ के हो जाएगा फोर लाख या फाइव लाख जो भी है फोर लाख या फाइव लाख जितना होना होगा वो हो जाएगा कितना डेटा आ गया एक दो तीन देखिए अभी कुछ डेटा आया है अभी नहीं आया क्योंकि एक मिनट लगता है ना डालने के एक मिनट के बाद मोमेंट क्लाइंट हैज अपलोडेड द डेटा वेन इट विल गेट रिकॉर्ड वन मिनट एवरी वन मिनट तो अभी तो तुरंत डाला है वेट फॉर वन मिनट 
वेट फॉर वन मिनट देन यूल गेट द डेटा हाँ ये भी अपडेट हो गया बैंकिंग के पी आई फाइव हंड्रेड फोर था वन जीरो एट जीरो हो गया समझ रहे हो आप आर यू गाइज ट्राइंग टू रिलेटेड वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन Moment client keep on updating the the data in the transaction table. Table is automatically getting triggered. मैं कहीं रन नहीं कर रहा हूँ क्रिएटर रिप्लेस टेबल कुछ नहीं सेलेक्ट स्टार तो बस दिखाने के लिए कर रहा हूँ नो अल्टर वल्टर आई एम नॉट डूंग एनी थिंग आई हैन स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर दैट स्टोर्ड प्रोसीजर कंटेन्स टेबल इन साइड दैट टेबल आई हैव क्रिएटेड द इंटायर स्क्रिप्ट I have created the entire script stored procedure and that stored procedure I am calling in the task. This you have to schedule it accordingly based on the client availability. ये पूरा आ जाएगा, right? अब देखो record बढ़ जाएगा. Oh bingo! सर आ गया, आ गया ना? 1918 सब का आ गया. Here is the data. Here is the data. It's working like a charm. Banking KPI 1080. अभी नहीं हुआ क्या लगेगा? Banking and account record. Everything code has been shared here. Everything bank code has been shared here. GitHub में. GitHub में मैंने डाल दिया. Lecture number thirty three. You can go to the GitHub and you can see. GitHub में जाओ. Lecture number thirty three. Entire code I have shared. Go to project. Sorry, not project repository. My bad. Go to the repository. Go analytics with Anand. Today is the lecture number thirty three. And in the description of video also you will find. And in turn of the video, I'll find. Go to the snowflake. Link has been given in the description. Link has been given in the description. Go to the lecture number thirty. Entire shared with you. But for this, you need to configure your AWS. AWS configuration part I will do in the next class. How do AWS configure? How do we set staging? How do we set pipe? How do we set pipe? Which I have really explained you. Although I give an overview that we'll discuss in the next class. Which will happen? Banking KPI. Look. Run. Do it. Bingo two one six zero update हो गया ना जी सारा data आ गया होगा nineteen eighteen जो भी data है आ गया ना eighteen twenty twenty one everything is coming everything is coming कुछ नहीं करना है बस इसको power भी ऐसे connect कर दो हो गया तुम्हारा automation खत्म कौन बैठेगा बंदे सुबह उठो आराम से data updated है but for this to work your schema and table structure should be same ऐसा नहीं हो सकता कि client ने जो data upload किया उसका column order and your column order is different no then it won't work your schema has to be the same right same it has to be the same comma if the first column is the account id he he should put the first column as account id that alignment you should be having it and that to we know from his uh, from the client debut तो बस कुछ नहीं करना है मोमेंट क्लाइंट कीप ऑन अपडेटिंग इन द एस थ्री बकेट ए क्लाउड इन्वायरमेंट वी कनेक्टेड इन टू द स्नोफ्लेक एंड दैट्स हाउ योर डेटा कीप्स ऑन फ्लोइंग एक और डाल देते हैं चलो एक और बिफोर वी रैप अप वन मोर डेटा सेवनटीन का डाल देते हैं ताकि तुमको सेवनटीन का भी रिकॉर्ड दिख जाएगा क्लियर सेवनटीन 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 आज सेवनटीन है कहीं कहा है तो सेवनटीन राइट right? 16 में डाल देते हैं चलो क्यों 16 को छोड़े फाइव ईयर का डेटा पूरा आ गया यहाँ फाइव ईयर का डेटा पूरा यहाँ आ गया 16 किधर गया जी 16 बस इंटायर थिंग आई शेयर विथ यू ओनली यू नीड टू कॉन्फ़िगर इज द ए डब्ल्यू एस पार्ट बस वो अकाउंट चाहिए उसके लिए पॉलिसी चाहिए रोल विच आर डिस्कस इन दपरेट क्लास ऑल टूगेदर मेक श्योर गाइज यू मैं दिस इन योर रेज्यू में मेक श्योर यू मैं दिस इन रेज्यू में बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है कैसे लिखोगे मैं वो भी बता देता हूँ कैसे लिखोगे क्लाइंट को कैसे बताओगे इंटरव्यू में वो भी वो भी मैं बता देता हूँ कि क्या प्रोजेक्ट किए थे स्पेशली टू द फ्रेशर एंड नॉन टेक अगर ये बात बोल रहे हो अगर तुम इंटरव्यूअर को वाह इट विल डेफिनेटली एड चार्म टू योर प्रोफाइल कि बंदे को इतना पता है एटलीस्ट राइट गया पूरा डेटा अब सारा डेटा तुमको देखेगा पाइपलाइन में एक दो मिनट के बाद राइट क्योंकि मैंने एक मिनट कुछ नहीं करना है कहीं कुछ नहीं कहीं कुछ नहीं ऑटोमेटिकली आते जाएगा बस कहीं कुछ नहीं करना है कोई कोड नहीं रन करना हूं मैं नॉट सी माई हैंड इज लाइक दिस I'm not running anywhere the code. कोई कोड नहीं लिखना कुछ नहीं सब अपने आप होगा बस कुछ नहीं ये टेबल को दूंगा बस पावर बी विच आई विल शो यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास कि कैसे ये विजुअल अपडेट होता है हर मिनट जादू की तरह ठीक है बट यू शुड नेवर सेट वन मिनट क्यों क्योंकि स्नोफ्लेक क्रेडिट सारे इन्वॉल्व हर मिनट पे लगेगा तो क्लाइंट रोड पे आ जाएगा हाउ मच डेस्ट स्नोफ्लेक चार्ज फॉर एवरी मिनट हाउ मच स्नोफ्लेक चार्ज इन स्टैंडर्ड इचन थ्री पॉइंट थ्री डॉलर पर आवर तो मिनट कितना हुआ जी डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्सटी हाउ मच इट इज जो भी निकाल लेना जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव डॉलर पर मिनट इमेजिन इफ यू रन द कोड अपर एवरी मिनट हाउ इट विल बी हाउ इट विल बी सो यू शुड शेड्यूल द टाइमिंग अकॉर्डिंगली 
at that particular time it will trigger so that's why we have the complete name which i told using cron where cron will come into the picture where cron will come into the picture in this format we write it in this format we write it right so that it becomes easy so that it becomes easy right so that it becomes easier clear let's see the new record is king or not let's see big 187918 let's check the banking kpi let's check the banking kpi ah 3239 it got updated all the record is there 1817 sab dikhega tumko 16 it's here right it's here bas khatam kuch nahi karna hai zindagi mein right now one question which will come into your mind sir where is the data transformation you have done where is the data cleaning that data cleaning you can do it here agar kuch kar rahe ho to that data cleaning you can do it here inside the code client ko raw data dalne do date format mein hai nahi hai doesn't matter clean it here type the code into the stored procedure call that stored procedure in one of the task khatam task mein call kar do task mein call kar do and entire report will be ready right ab ek task banaye the hum log 1 minute ka dekho kitna record aa gaya ji isme banaye the 33 rows i told you know by the time this video gets over you will get 15 to 20 records that's the beauty now how you need to write in the interview let me tell you now let me give you the complete overview how you need to explain this project to the uh, to the uh, recruiter kaise bataoge yahan likh ke main bata deta how you will explain it theek hai kaise hum bata sakte hain correct to kar rahe hain hum snowflake hai right स्नोफ्लेक के कुछ टेबल्स हैं, करेक्ट टेबल है एडब्ल्यू एस है एडब्ल्यू एस है उसमें कुछ कैट है एडब्ल्यू एस में थ्री में कुछ कुछ बकेट ये बकेट कनेक्टेड है हर चीज से मोमेंट क्लाइंट अपलोड एनी डेटा राइट यू आर स्टेचिंग ए स्टेजिंग टेबल थ्रू पाइपलाइन वन टेबल क्रिएटिंग स्टेजिंग टेबल थ्रू पाइपलाइन पाइपलाइन के थ्रू सो दैट डेट कम्स ऑटोमेटिकली now once this gets loaded in the table that table creation code you are passing in the stored procedure stored procedure in that stored procedure you are passing it in your task and you are scheduling it so the moment client upload any data in the s3 this will get triggered this will get triggered right this will get triggered and your power bi will get अपडेटेड अब इसको एक ऑब्जेक्टिव और समरी में कैसे लिखना है रेज्यूमे में वो समझ लो वो समझ लो कि इसको समरी एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव में कैसे लिखना है कैसे लिखेंगे इसको अपने रेज्यूमे में वो मैं दिखा देता हूं लिंक इन कहा मेरा हाउ यू विल राइट इट ठीक है लिखोगे मैं बताऊ हाउ यू विल राइट इट दिस इज कॉलिमाइजेशन ऑफ द डेटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट तो डेटा एनालिटिक प्रोजेक्ट जब बोलते हैं तो ये होता है ये नहीं कि क्लीन किए डेटा और एक्सेल में दिखा दिए नहीं ऑटोमेशन पूरा दुनिया ऑटोमेशन है ऑटोमेशन सोचो ये क्रिएट रिप्लेस मुझे क्लिक करना है व्हाई आई नीड टू क्लिक इट मैन्युअली नहीं करना है मुझे तो पांच टेबल क्लिक करेगा क्रिएट और रिप्लेस क्रिएट और रिप्लेस मेरे पास यही काम थोड़ी रहेगा ऑटोमेट कर देंगे इसको खत्म राइट डी बक तो कर लेंगे डी बक में आया नहीं आया एन ऑल those things i can do it this is the automation i want so next time if you are creating a report include aws in your project include aws in your project that's how you learn it and the first line the first line which should go in is this i'll show you the first line in your resume will be this main dikha de raha hu i'll show you little bit zoom let me zoom it ha yes optimization technique likha hai na इसको डाउनलोड ही कर लेता हूं सो दैट इट बिकम्स इयर फॉर यू टू विजुअलाइज कहा चला गया जी गायब हाँ इट्स कमिंग व्हाट आई विल चेंज सेल राइट सो यू नीड टू राइट इट हियर ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक करेक्ट ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक यस फ्लोडाग्राम आई हैव गिवन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक दिस इज द समरी आई वॉन्ट एनी टाइम इफ यू आर हैविंग एक्सपीरियंस राइट दैट हियर right i have data analysis data migration and visualization technique using data driven tools and techniques by working on various optimization techniques so next question the interview will ask you what optimization you have to tell this R include this word in your resume include this word in your resume theek hai include this word in your resume i'm not sharing on screen oh is that i thought i'm sharing on screen 
Okay, is that I'm not sharing screen? Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I thought I'm sharing on screen. Sorry. Yeah. Now, okay. now screen is visible. Now you'll be able to see. Now you will be able to see. Wait. Is it visible? Now? Check now. Yeah, I'm, sh I'm sharing. I'm sharing. I'm sharing. Can you see this? You are. Yes. Now you can see this. Yes. So I'm saying moment you write data analysis, data migration and visualization. Write the word data migration also because you're migrating the data. Use this three word using data driven tools and techniques by working on various optimization techniques. This is the technique which you have worked in and mention that your first project mention that your first project. This should be your first project in your resume, right? In your resume. This should be the first project in your resume. Pahla project yahi hona chahiye. Thik hai? Correct? Data analysis, data transformation also, what you can write it. I have not written that. Data transformation also, word you can write it. Data transformation, word also you can write it. Thik hai? So next time you are generating that word, try to automate it. Try to automate it. This is the reason I'm telling people to do this. Link is here. Link is given in the description. Link is given in the description. This is the lecture number 33. Diagram, everything, table code, entire code I have given you. Entire code is there. You don't have to at all. Sara code diya hua hai. Everything I have given you. Kuch nahi karna Har step ko process follow karo. Everything I have given you. Sara code. Correct? Wo bhi main dal dunga yaha pe. Entire code, you'll find it here. Folder mein jao, sara code tumko mil jaga yaha pe. Thik hai, this link is there in the description of this video. This is what I'm about to show you. Next class, I'll show you how this will connecting through Power BI or har ek minute pe kaise Power BI ka visuals change ho raha hai. That's what you need to work on. Itna karoge, this is called end-to-end -end data analysis project. Data analysis project ka iska matlab ye nahi. Data out hai, clean kiye, dump kiye, dashboard dikha diye khatam. Automate kon karega? Tum bimar pad gaye, tum so rahe ho, char din ke liye nahi ho, do you think? Task code, I will upload it. Task code, I will upload it. Do you think that will work? No. Right? Task code, I'll upload. Task code, I'll upload. Kar deta so that's how you need to work on. Correct? That's how you need to work on. Correct? Here is the code. I'll share this code with you. So understand the process. Process is very, very important. Okay? Process is very, very important here. Huh. So automation query, I'll upload it. Mm -hmm. Add file, upload. This is already linked. This is there in the description. Link is there in the description, so you can go and check out. Documents. Let's see. Ha, automation. I'm uploading. Okay. And you will get a lot and lot of syntax error and you will do a lot of mistake. So in order to do this, it has taken a lot of time, five to six hours. It's not that easy. Right? Reach out to me, comment on this video anytime if you get uh, any error. Okay? Reach out to me. Snow side, nahi. Abhi snow side. Nahi. Snow side ka alag lenge session. Snow side ka alag lenge session. I am doing right now on the classic console. Snow side ka alag hai. Right? So this is the lecture number 33. And all the lecture video is here. Data set is here. Word by word you can go and do it. Make sure you master this concept. I want all of you to master this concept really, really well. Jo bhi abhi working hai snowflake mein. Jo bhi jinko job mil gaya hai. Jinko nahi bhi mila hai. Ye kaam rook karke rakh lo. Thik hai? Ye kaam jaroo karke rakh lo. Bohat kaam aega ye. Right? Same thing you can do with Azure. Same thing you can do with Azure. ER model is here. here, here. Full end-to-end -end data analytics project. Pe hai. If, you, if you go here, you will find, go to the repository. Go to the repository. Here it is. End-to-end -end data analytics project. Pe hai. 
एंड टू एंड डेटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट एवरीथिंग शेयर ऑटोमेटिक स्टोर प्रोजेक्ट सारा कुछ है ईआर डायग्राम सीक्वल स्क्रिप्ट डायग्राम डेटा सेट्स रॉ डेटा सेट्स क्लीन डैशबोर्डिंग मैनिपुलेशन क्लीनिंग डॉक्यूमेंट प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट कंटिन्यूस डेटा लोडिंग स्टेप्स आल्सो हैज बीन गिवन गाइस स्टेप आल्सो हैज बीन गिवन सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू वरी एट ऑल स्टेप आल्सो हैज बीन गिवन सारा कुछ मैंने दे रखा है ठीक है डाउनलोड करो देखो डाउनलोड इट एंड सी व्हाट ऑल स्टेप्स आई हैव गिवन फॉर योर अटेंशन व्हिच आई विल टेक सेपरेट क्लास ऑल टुगेदर देखो सारा सीन के सब कि कैसे बनाएंगे री बकेट कैसे फोल्डर बनता है दिस सेशन आई विल टेक इट वेट फॉर दैट दिस सेशन आई विल टेक इट सो वेट फॉर इट दिस सेशन आई विल टेक इट सो वेट फॉर इट ठीक है पूरा एंड टू एंड प्रोजेक्ट और इसमें कोई ऑटिंग स्टूडेंट प्रोजेक्ट एंड हियर यू आर सीइंग द क्वेरी सारा टेबल का भी और ये क्वेरी ऑटोमेशन क्वेरी यहां पे सर लेट्स से आई हैव डन दिस प्रोजेक्ट बट दिस फॉर इंटरव्यू पर्पस फॉर गुड एक्सप्लेनेशन नीड टू बी गुड स्टोरी टेलिंग यस कैप्टन ऑफ कोर्स कैप्टन यू नीड टू टेल दिस उसका प्रैक्टिस कैसे करेंगे मेरे साथ मेरे साथ पहला क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच योर इंटरव्यूअर विल आस्क एक्सप्लेन द लास्ट डेटा एनालिटिक्स प्रोजेक्ट विच यू हैव डन पूरा समझाना है क्या समझाना है यही प्रोजेक्ट जो प्रोजेक्ट है यही समझाना तो पूरा फ्लो इसमें दिया हुआ है इफ यू रीड इट इंटायर फ्लो इज गिवन हियर इंटायर फ्लो एंड दिस इज रियलिस्टिक प्रोजेक्ट ऐसे कोई रैंडम डेटा नहीं है डेटा बनाया गया है विथ माई इंटर्न सत्यम we fully we have developed this data sets fully from the scratch you need to explain this project only kaise kiye hain kya kiye hain kya steps hain all everything entire thing what is the problem discussion how you generated the schema what was the schema what was the primary key what was the foreign key what was the analysis you were doing it kya is project se nikla hai na objective kya tha is project ka yahan tak aur kaise maine isko automate kiya bas pura story 15 minute tak interviewer will keep on listening you Will keep on listening. बोलते जाओ बोलते जाओ बस कहीं कोई क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछेगा वो कहीं क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछेगा वो दैट काइंड ऑफ क्लैरिटी यू शुड बी हैविंग अगर फ्रेशर लोग अगर इतना बता रहा है ना ट्रस्ट में कौन नहीं लेगा तुम लोग को ऑफकोर्स लेगा एस्पेशली द नॉन टेक पीपल दोस्ट वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो ऑफकोर्स पीपल विल हायर इफ यू हैव सो मच ऑफ नॉलेज कमिंग फ्रॉम द नॉन टेक बैकग्राउंड ये तो दो साल वाले एक्सपीरियंस को भी नहीं पता होगा आज जो मैंने बताया है तुमको किसी को नहीं पता होगा ये ये चीज आज जो मैंने तुम लोग को बताया है ये टू इयर्स जो डेटा एनालिस्ट में काम कर रहे हैं तीन साल उनको भी नहीं पता होगा ये चीज ऑटोमेशन के वो अलग अलग कर रहे हैं यहाँ हाउ वी हैव कनेक्टेड वी हैव कनेक्टेड वन क्लाउड एडब्ल्यू एस विद अनदर क्लाउड स्नो फ्लेक विद दैट आई हैव कनेक्टेड माई पावर भी तीन चीज कनेक्टेड हो गए हैं पूरा एंड टू एंड वो भी ऑटोमेशन के साथ करेक्ट वो भी ऑटोमेशन के साथ राइट right? अब जो तुम ऑनलाइन यूट्यूब पे देख रहे हो एंड टू एंड एनालिसिस प्रोजेक्ट मिलते रहता हो तो मुझे हंसी आती है वो एंड टू एंड डेटा एनालिसिस प्रोजेक्ट है एंड टू एंड डेटा एनालिसिस का प्रोजेक्ट मतलब है क्लाइंट का रिक्वायरमेंट मिला डेटा मैंने क्लीन किया क्लीन डेटा को मैंने अपने टेबल में लाया टेबल में ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन लगाया ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन को मैंने पावर क्वेरी में रन किया सॉरी पावर बीआई में रन किया पावर बीआई में कुछ ट्रांसफॉर्म किया और ये पूरा चेन ऑटोमेटेड होना चाहिए पूरा चेन ऑटोमेटेड ताकि तुम सो संडे को डेटा अपना आया अपने आप क्लीन हुआ अपने आप लोड हुआ अपने आप विजुअलाइजेशन बना अपने आप विजुअल रिफ्रेश हो गया यही टास्क मैंने ई एक्सएल में किया था जिसको करने में मुझे छह महीने लगे थे सिक्स मंथ राइट जो कि आज तुम एक दिन में सीख रहे हो सिक्स मंथ लगे थे वो करने एंड इट हैज इतना डेटा था उसमें सो ऑटोमेशन में पावर भी रिफ्रेश होने में उसको लगता था पंद्रह मिनट फिफ्टी मिनट करेक्ट इतने डे प्रोसेस होने में ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल का डेटा बता रहा हूं मैं ट्रांजेक्शन टेबल का जो डेटा था इतना था रियल टाइम टू पॉइंट सेवन टीबी राइट टू पॉइंट सेवन टीबी टू पॉइंट सेवन टीबी राइट हाउ यू मेंटेन रेफरेंशियल इंटीग्रिटी इन सोफ्ट दिस वन फॉरन की फॉरन की रेफरेंशियल इंटीग्रिटी तो फॉरन की है ना फॉरन की क्लियर ओके जो मैं सीखा हूं वही तुम लोग को बता रहा हूं इंटरव्यू में गुड़ गोबड़ मत करना डू दिस एंड ऑफ कोर्स मेंशन दिस इन योर रिज्यूमे डेफिनेटली दिस विल एड वैल्यू हाउ यू जनरेट दर डायग्राम यू शुड नो दिस आल्सो शुड कम राइट एंड व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन देम करेक्ट ये सब भी आना चाहिए कैसे जनरेट होता है क्या होता है सभी को आना चाहिए ये चीज ठीक है एवरी वन ईच वन ऑफ यू शुड बी एबल टू नो दिस हाउ टू जनरेट द ई डायग्राम एंड एवरीथिंग 
clear sir if you provide one more project like this it would be jam for i will i will i will let the complete sql get over i will no this is the data sets which are working is 1 million the data sets which will be working is 1 million and it possible in reality any it company than list company you will be keeping more than 5 tables isliye maine table li do not practice sql on 2 3 table to learn nothing kuch hi samajh mein aayega until unless it is greater than equal to 5 your table should involve more than 3 5 table tabhi samajh mein aayega that's the reason this project is there okay clear i have a fear of english i can't speak but not fluent it's fine on interviews <laughs> communication skills you need to develop keep talking to your friends you can talk to me call me call me in english talk to me in english you can work on theek hai then you can work on clear right okay fine okay that's it we'll meet in the next class where we'll connect this to the power bi and we'll see theek hai and we'll see practice this stored procedure task you need to practice it this is very very important from interview point of view after joins window function this is where the question comes challenge is how to overcome it sir we have to suspend that ha oh sorry sorry oh yes 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 ha i have to suspend otherwise it will consume my credit sorry sorry ha i forgot ha here so i have to suspend because i have set one minute i have set one minute right i have set one minute otherwise ye chalte rahega otherwise ye chalte rahega that's why otherwise ye chalte rahega that's the reason okay so that's why your time limit should be very very proper time limit should be very very proper ab ye nahi chalega khatam ab ye nahi chalega jo last data tha bas wahi hai to manually kar denge last data tha retain karega it will get retain till last जब तक लास्ट डेट आप पता चल गया क्लाइंट से आनंद आई एम गोइंग ऑन लीव फॉर थ्री मंथ्स आई एम गोइंग ऑन लीव फॉर थ्री मंथ्स देर वोट बी एनी ट्रांजेक्शन अपडेट इमीडिएटली सस्पेंडेड क्यों रन करना क्लाइंट का क्रेडिट बचाओ सस्पेंडेड डेटा इज ऑलरेडी पाइप में है खतम सब डिबक भी कर लेंगे चैलेंज आएगा देख लेंगे कुछ नहीं पूरा एंड टू एंड ऑटोमेशन पूरा दुनिया ऑटोमेशन में है सीखो नेक्स्ट क्लास नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी ऑन मंडे मंडे इज अलीडे फॉर मी मंडे आई टेक क्लास फॉर यू मंडे इज अलीडे फॉर मी clear monday is a holiday for me so we'll take on my day that's all hope you have enjoyed this class do subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed it and i'll make you master in sql pura data analytics mein master main bana dunga plenty leta hu right just trust the process work on all all these videos pura abhi to bahut kuch aane wala hai abhi kahan abhi to ye chalega 5 10 saal right pura chalega abhi पावर भी आएगा टैबली आएगा एक्सेल आएगा स्टैटिस्टिक्स आएगा एडब्ल्यूएस आएगा जीसीपी आएगा एजोर आएगा बहुत कुछ आने वाला है हॉलिडे वी हैव दिस नो फर्स्ट में लेबर डे नो इट्स हॉलिडे ओके सो इट्स ए हॉलिडे कॉन्फिडेंस तभी आएगा व्हेन यू हैव मास्टर्ड ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट तभी कॉन्फिडेंस आता है ऐसे नहीं आता है कॉन्फिडेंस अभी आएगा ना जी व्हेन यू हैव मास्टर द कॉन्सेप्ट वरना कैसे आएगा कॉन्फिडेंस तो कॉन्सेप्ट को मास्टर करो तब जाके आएगा राइट right? तभी जाके आएगा क्लियर ओके तभी जाएगा ओके सो होप यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस सेशन थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग आई हैव एक्सटेंडेड अ बिट बट आई नीड टू एक्सप्लेन दिस नेक्स्ट क्लास विल बी ऑन अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ दिस ऑटोमेटिक एंड देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू द एडब्ल्यूएस how you can automate how you can set this pipeline and staging table in aws next class azure also teeno mein sikha dunga google taki tum log ready ho jao thank you right spread the love share in your college if you are a fresher do let them know so they can come they can learn some insights from this right bahut aasan hai bas samajhna hota hai cheezon ko thank you एडीएफ यस एडीएफ 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 भी वो भी कर देंगे वो भी कर देंगे डोंट वरी सब कुछ करेंगे डोंट वरी लीव इट इट्स ओके डन पीपल आर कमिंग लाइव इन माय सेशन आई एम हैप्पी दैट्स आई एम हियर जस्ट टू टीच यू द कॉन्सेप्ट राइट सो मास्टर दिस कॉन्सेप्ट 
learn it in a proper way, execute it. Anywhere, any doubt, if you're stuck, comment on this video. I'll help you. Entire documentation I have shared, comment on this video, then I'll help you out. Right? Ye bhi documentation mein dal deta hu, continuous data loading ka. This documentation also I'll upload it in the lecture number 33. So that those who will be watching, unko koi dikkat nahi. Right? End to end project mein bhi hai. I'll lecture 33 mein also, you'll get it. Close jagah mein Thank you, Ipsa. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This entire thing which you have seen, it took some six months to do it in the realistic case. Okay. So I'll upload this. See, you are learning here for free. Nothing you have to pay. No, I'm not charging you anything, right? So just come, enjoy, learn something. Right? Learn something which can, which can help in your career. Which can help in your career. So learn something. Right? I'll upload that file. Also so that you can know how to configure it. Again, this I'll discuss in the previous next class also. There it went. So that's all. So I'm wrapping it up. Uh, what happened? I got stuck. I think. I'll upload that all. I think it got stuck. Uh, yes. Downloads and you can follow the steps in order to know how you can upload. All the staging table, the code which I have written, from where you will copy this, all the step-by-step -step instruction has been mentioned. Step-by-step -step instruction for AWS. For AWS. This I will discuss next Monday. Monday also you can join it so that you can understand this thing. That's all, guys. That's the steps which you need to configure. The code which I have shared with you, no? how to establish a staging table and all those things. How to establish a staging table, how you can connect with the S3 bucket, all those things. This one, this code. This, this is the code. How you can write this. This code I have shared with you. Right? How do you connect this? Many people will get error in this. Many people get error in this. What you need to type it, what you don't need to type it, all those things and all. So that I'll discuss on Monday. Take care. That's it. Okay, guys. Time to wrap up. Good night. Take care. Enjoy your uh, weekends. We'll catch you up on Monday. I'll see if I can bring someone on Sunday so that he or she can share the data and list inside. Those who are working. Many of my students have got a job. So let's see if they can come, if they have a time so that you can ask your questions. Just a formal discussion. We'll keep it. Okay. Clear? Okay, that's all. See you, good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. And do subscribe to this channel if you have not done so and spread the word. Let's learn and let's be a good data analyst. Okay, bye. Good night.